Okay, here's my flutter wing operation as inspired by the Canadian study by a fellow in Ontario, funded by the NREA, I believe it is. I've got it hooked up with an N42 half by half by a two inch on the end, backed by a little bit of metal. That's what I had kicking around. And I've got this coil which has uh, 70, some 78 wraps, I believe, of uh, I think it's uh, 22 gauge wire on it, rectified. And running over to my meter. Not showing up very well there, is it? There we go. Let's see if we can get some voltage out of it. I have to hold my tongue just right to work with this. So that's set on the millivolt scale. And what I'm doing is holding this magnet with the metal backing on it as close as possible to that vibrating magnet. Did I say holding the magnet close? I mean, I'm holding the coil as, with the metal backing as close as possible. So there you go. Move the camera over here so you can see what I'm doing to get that voltage. Whoops, a little too close. And if I had a third hand, I'd turn the camera over so you can see this is what's producing that voltage but I don't so I have to take my word for it and there you go Lloyd's flutter wing We've got the uh, bramicles on there to accentu accentuate the uh, wind flow on both sides. 